the Flory Models Kit Review time. Today we've got the 148 scale F106 Delta Dart. Absolutely fantastic. Trumpeter have come along and redone these kits because let's face it, what do we have? The monogram ones? Raised panel lines. Woo. So it's nice to see new kits coming along. Century Series jets. Um, if you're into your sort of your early jets and things like that, you're going to know all about this aircraft. If you haven't, these things were absolutely fantastic for their time. So down in the box, as you can see, very nice box art in its typical role. It was an interceptor. It was designed to knock out bombers before they got to striking distance and everything else. So down on the box, quick look around it. As you can imagine, the usual things, talking about the New Jersey squadrons. And then as we make our way all the way around, which is quite a nice touch. Uh, so the kit number is 02891, very nicely done. So with Trumpeter, all their boxes are very, very nicely done. Very strong and sturdy, which makes it great for building. Okay, the usual blunt on what's coming up, which is pretty much all of this. A lot of their 144 stuff these days, making its way through. But we do have the Russian Navy um, First World War battleship, which is odd choice. Look, let's get some of the other stuff in. So in here, that's how it down in the bottom for the instructions. Before we go with that bit. So that's our clear parts. Okay, so on the old instructions, what we have, we've got our usual thing. So we've got the sprue um, call outs, uh, as you can imagine, all the way through. Then we've got the parts. So we're talking about the cockpit, the seat going together. We've got a little bit of photo etch for some of the harnesses and the belt works, which is quite nice. The actual cockpit tub itself going together, being put in, everything else. The usual thing on these, it tends to be follow the same plan. You're going to go in with a nose wheel, uh, which is multi-part setup. So we should get some nice detail down in those, which I assume is going to go cockpit floor job, as we can see down here. Okay. Engine, full length engine, which is very nice to see. Um, shame you'll never see any of it, of it. Okay. And the weapons bay, which is this guy down here, which is what fits in the bottom, which is where all those nice uh, missiles are stored. Intakes going on, two piece intakes. Um, and be interested to see how they actually fit in there because they're just going to sort of disappear down there. But I think it will be enough, okay, for actually what you need, okay. Um, being a Delta, obviously very large wing systems going in there. Usual thing with these, opening up a couple of holes uh, and then you've got the actual main wheel well going in. Then we've got that being installed into there and the brace system goes in the bottom. Bottom half of the wing section being fitted in and then the tops on. Always going to be tricky to get the right type of seam lines on these. It is the trouble with Delta aircraft. They always have this huge seam line that you're going to have to do something with as a rule. So it'd be interesting. Looks like we've got positional control surfaces on the, um, the flapperons down here at the back, which is quite a nice touch. Okay, and then it's putting up a few of the cockpit areas up the front. Tail system going in there. Obviously the rudder. Nice to see the speed brake open. Um, hopefully you can have it both ways. Okay, tail being installed. Looks like, again, doesn't look like as much to hold that on. So it'd be interesting to see how that actually goes in, if that's a nice fit along there. It's always a trouble when you're coming along with a tube versus anything else to get it to be a very nice fit. Okay, cockpit glass uh, being, looks like directly attached to the framework. Oh, I hate that. Okay, and then it seems great at the time. You think, oh, I just paint it and all the rest of it. But then you've got to try and glue it down and you haven't got any room as a margin of error to play with, apart from something usually very small, which it looks like it will have the actual, the putty stuff molded round there and all the rest of it. Cockpit front glass going on, obviously the canopy in and nose goes on. No sign of any nose weight on this one. Okay, main gear itself, as you can see, doesn't look too badly detailed, being positioned down in there as that all goes in. Gear doors, some nice detailing, if that's right, that's gonna show through, which should be a nice touch. And then we've got this one's down here. Looks like we've got a couple of rats, uh, which is the Ram Air turbine, in case it loses power, can be shown open or closed. Okay, so that's quite a nice little touch. Okay, and then obviously we've got the activators uh, for the flapperons going on at the back. And it looks like we have nuclear strike capability, which is always going to, if you're going to go big, that's the way to do it. Okay. Um, some nice touches, little bits and pieces going in on the bottom. Some IFF stuff, I do believe, uh, going in the bottom there. So let's get it straight. You do all that work, work with a weapon. No, that's right. I'm only kidding. Okay. So you can either have the weapon base shut or you can have it open. Uh, so you've got your activators just down here for the actual weapons fit to go on and then obviously the doors being positioned you are going to want it open let's face it and then we've got external fuel tanks going on there um i can't remember the name of the missile now is it it's not the phoenix it's the one before it 
uh, which I can't remember its name off the top of my head, and it doesn't tell you what it is either. Uh, it's not. It's the Falcon. I think it's the Falcon missile, um, uh, which is underneath, uh, which was the radar intercept missile of the day. Okay, as it goes right the way in there. Normally you used to get four. I don't know if they still fit four. If it's two down in there. Oh, it is four. Um, it's nice. It's on a trapeze system. Really complicated. And at the time, it was like light years ahead. When you think of modern jets now, and we're talking like obviously F-22, um, F-35, that now use this the same type of trapeze system uh, to actually lower the weapon clear of the aircraft. And obviously it stores it internally as well. You know, and you're thinking these things were designed in the 50s. All right. So there we go. Very nicely kit done. Seems to be very nice all the way through. Your markings you got. You've got two options, I do believe, yes. So you've got these, looks like the standard ones. I'm just seeing whose it is. Still not gonna tell me what missile it is. Okay, and then obviously we have this one on this side. Again, very nice markings. Nice to see a little bit of color on them and everything else like that. Okay, decals themselves. This is a little bit of photo etch, as we can see it just down there. Not much, but it'll be nice. It's got all the little aerials in there. Uh, the decals themselves, if I get these out in one bit, just bought a heat sealer so we can seal them back up. Okay. So the decals themselves, as you can see, they look a little bit sort of oily. How well the camera can get in these at the different angles. But they seem to be pretty good stuff. So we've got the internals. Everything seems to be in red chair. The carrier film looks a little bit big, thick and heavy, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem with all of that in there. It all looks to be nicely in register. It's a nice color as well. It, it is proper solid reds and blues and with the stars and bars, it's just, it's got a film over the top, but hopefully that will come out during your decal preparation. So in the box, let's just start them as we go. So bag one we actually have the cockpit itself. So there, we can do it down here nowadays. All right, you can see, which camera is probably best. Never mind, we just play with both, see what we get. All right, so down here, a couple of things notice. Um, the cockpit detail is very nice. We've got some very nice raised panel line detail down in this one, so that's really nice. Also, the detail work in this weapons bay is absolutely exquisite. That's really nice on a 148 scale aircraft. So you've got everything from molding lines right the way through to some wiring and cables going through. Also, the detail on the wiring cables down in here is absolutely beautifully done as well. The instrument panel, although you get a decal for it, it is all raised detail, so that might be a little bit of a pain to get down. But again, it looks very nicely done quite like liking the look of that that's some very nice detail in those okay we've got the sides of the seats there's going to be able to reseal that bag that's a bit tight okay so down in here again very nice detail on the side of these seats beautifully done we've got some nice bolt detail riveting some wiring detail these are those trapezes we were talking about for the weapon system uh, to be swung out clean, uh, clear of the aircraft. Again, it's recessed, it's got little bits of detail all the way around in there. The control grip and everything else, again, nice detail. The wheels in one piece, which is quite nice, can't stand separate hubs. Uh, going all the way around. The seat looks a bit basic, there's nothing really to it, but you've got some added areas, but it'd be nice to see a bit more texture on the cushion, perhaps. Nose wheel is one complete molded lump, okay, so that's quite acceptable, nice detail. I think that'll all pick out very, very nicely. No problem with that. Okay, and then we've got, I presume it's gonna be a duplicate. Okay, one down here, which is what I was thinking when I just saw that one. Are they gonna be coming out with other versions and variants? Well, have a quick look in here, purely because we've got it out. It's gonna be a duplicate as well. All right, so down in here, what we've actually got is the fuel tanks, which have got nice recessed panel lining all the way down them, that's nice. We've got the nuclear strike. Um, I can't remember it off the top of my head what it is. Okay, and we've got the, the uh, radar guided missiles. Very nice touch as well. In fact, you've got two types in here. So we believe that half of them, because they did do an infrared version and a radar guided version. So it looks like we've got both there. Sway braces, but just down here, the detail is raised. Hope you can hear that. Okay, for the actual riveting on the trapeze system itself, 
So we're saying it's 148, but it's got loads of potential. It's because the detail is absolutely exquisite. Love it. Okay, some of the bigger stuff. Again, when immediately I'm looking at this, this is a an evolution, shall we say, of previous sort of trumpeter kits. Normally they're a little bit, the best way to describe it, they're normally a little bit clunky. Um, we're getting quite refined now. Uh, some of these details are absolutely lovely, but also the plastic itself is very muted. There's no big markings and that which come together. There's certainly no residue on this whatsoever, but it seems to be an extremely clean, crisp, um, mold versus some of their earlier stuff shall we say but it's really nice to see so just looking around here catch it in the lights as you can see we've got their very nice very fine recessed uh, panel lining and riveting detail all over that just this area down here it looks it works really really well you know it's just working on which camera works best with these okay but generally walking around it all these intakes very nicely smoothly molded and everything else like that okay and don't forget this technically is the blind side because over here you've got all of this down in here so we got we're not just talking a couple of wires and that we've got lots of cabling detail which is bordering on what you'd expect to find in resin it's in here very nicely done cleanly molded no ejection pin marks so don't forget this is the blind side the ejection pin mark i can't see one in there so the ejection pins are all around it which have worked because it's got it out of the mold without as far as i can see a single ejector pin which is really nice again no ejector pins in these guys these are the, the actual the main gear riveting detail each side of this wiring going down beautifully done no problem with that at all and working its way through so a real thumbs up with that one the actual main engine bag i presume and the gear okay so when we're looking at it through here if we do the inside this is the blind side first okay the ejector inside again these engine sets as you can see them down here nothing whatsoever no ejection pin marks in there at all yes we've got it in these no you're not going to see them anyway so it doesn't matter the ejector pins and things like that all tend to be out of the way which is lovely so this is the blind side we've got no ejector pins here the nose cone it's just twisted around for packaging looks to be quite nice no ejector pin marks on any of the doors any of the major parts the gear all looks very nicely done and everything else as you work your way through and even down to these areas down here we've got bottles and that nothing this is the best side allegedly okay and again nothing whatsoever some nice detail around the gear some nice little touches down there all of this is very sharply done none of it is you know rough texture and things like that the engine nozzle itself is a peculiar thing at the best of time. It looks like a sea urchin or something. Um, but there you go. Very nice, very cleanly molded. No problem with that at all. And generally looks very, very nice. Got the arrested hook down here for the emergency one. That looks to be a very nice piece as well. So generally all over. I can't find any problems with that at all. There's the pitot tube on the front. It looks to be nice and clean. The other thing as well, when you look at it, you can't see huge seam lines as in the actual the mold lines themselves between the two halves coming together so you've got no real burring that you're going to have to clean up and take care of so actually very nice kit okay the big stuff so just down in here we have we've got here the wings so hopefully you guys can see this on the different camera angles but if i try and if we pick out a smaller one and we'll work our way through Trouble with these LED lights now, I've got no reflection, so it's hard to pick out detail. So you can see cobwebbing and stuff like this around here, okay, when you see this line. Don't take too much notice of that, that's just in the plastic, you can't actually see it. But as you can see, you've got a nice texture and it's not a million rivets all over, what's there is very fine. Here on the other hand, hopefully you can see, you can see it, there's a lot more going on okay so you've actually got loads of riveting detail going around each one of these panels has got loads of tiny little rivets very close to coming through because obviously you need to open it up anywhere on the blind side but it is clean but it's all got that nice texture to it and you're not going to do it in a new metal finish or something else like that so you don't have to worry about it but generally very nice very clean crisp molding all of this looks to be very very nice and on the inside obviously this bit you're going to see that's not an ejector pin that should be there that's the uh, navigation light and everything else so it all looks very nicely done there's certainly been a little bit of clean work 
done down on this edge. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's obviously the mold's been cleaned. So I'm assuming some test shots are thrown and then they've come back and repolished it. Because that's very nice, which is a sign of at least they try to fix something. So yeah, absolutely nice. Really, really nice kit. Also, this will give you the size of the scale of this thing. This isn't some little small jet, as you can see. This is a big old lump, but I haven't got my thing out now, but it's gotta be a foot long, okay, and all the rest of it. But again, as you're looking down on it like this, if we try and pick our way through, very nice details. It's all very fine. It's just in there. It does make you wonder if it's gonna be a little too fine, but it does look sharp, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. All of this stuff. We've got some nice internals down in here as well, which is quite a nice touch, all of those. It all seems very nicely clean, but even just the riveting detail, hopefully you can catch it, hundreds of it all down here. These weapon doors as you make your way through them and everything else like that. So I'm gonna say, this is gonna be a stonking. You're not gonna have much on the wingspan, but what it does make up for in length, okay? So genuinely very, very nice. So last thing up, we've got a couple of little clear bits here. So now we'll have a quick look see in this. So maybe I'll just slip him off. So looking at the clear part, as you can see, that is beautifully done. Not a lot of wobble in that, considering when you see the complexity of that shape, that is absolutely beautifully done. That's some of the finest clear molding I've seen, purely because that's gotta be incredibly difficult to do because there's not a rounded edge on that. It's all peculiar angles and and things. Sorry, something in my eye. And then we've got this last one here, which should have the front. I'm not gonna try and rip it off in case it's in here. So if I just... And again, you can see the detail, this barring that's down on this one here, catch it in the light there, you see. Very nicely done, extremely clear. And it's something, you know, obviously I can't speak for them, but they seem to have spent a little bit of time refining their clear work, because now their clear work is uber clear. It's, you know, the clarity is absolutely stunning. So I'm just gonna pop this in the bag before I lose it. Okay. So there we go, that is the F106. Uh, Delta Dart, Trumpeters probably, I'd have to say, their finest kit to date in 48 scale. It's beautifully done. Obviously, I don't know how it goes together, but from a box point of view and looking in there and seeing the clarity, the cleanness, the sharpness of everything, there's no sink marks, there's nothing that you would ever worry about at all in this kit whatsoever. So I assume it's gonna be a fantastic build.